another day, another leg of our German road trip. Today, we say goodbye to Cologne and hello to Dusseldorf, which is super close and just around the corner. We are headed to a brand new German city and we are so excited to continue our German adventure. We're Adam and Abby. Together, we are travel with AT. At the end of 2020, we quit our jobs to travel full time. We started in Hawaii, explored the Great West in an RV, and took on Alaska, the last frontier. Subscribe to our channel to follow our adventures around the world. We just finished our drive to Dusseldorf, and our first stop is something special for me. It is a place called Classic Remise, which is really like a car dealer slash event space slash maintenance shop. It's apparently a place where they work on all kinds of classic cars from many different vintages, hold awesome events, and oh, by the way, there's a cafe where you can hang out, watch them work on the cars, and grab a beer in the beer garden. So we are super excited for the beginning of our Dusseldorf adventure as part of our awesome German road trip and we are at a place where I get to see some really cool cars which sticks to the theme of the Autobahn which makes me a very happy man. I had a poster of this car on my bedroom wall my entire life growing up. This is one of the newer Ford GT race cars. Oh they're so cool. You have to be invited to buy one of these cars. You can't just buy one, even if you wanted to. Y'all, he is in car heaven. And we forgot to mention that this place is free, so if you're on your way to Dusseldorf, looking for somewhere to go that's not gonna cost you anything, why not check out the cars? This is the perfect way to mix it up completely for free. I may not know like anything about cars. I'm definitely not the car person in this relationship, but I'm pretty sure that this Jeep doesn't really fit in to like the multi-million dollar fancy, really expensive vintage fast room room cars that are in this place. I don't know why it's here. glass of wine and a fan, and I could be here for hours. Sipping wine, fanning myself, staring at cars, listening to my husband say things that I don't understand, and smiling and nodding. We were gonna hang out here and have a beer with all these cool, amazing cars sitting around but the cafe is closed. So, looks like we're going onwards to do some work. Well, we have officially checked into the Wellum. I cannot wait to show you this room. This is like, I, I'm freaking out. I'm literally freaking out. This room is unbelievable. It's beautiful, it's huge. You have to say it for yourself, come on. First of all, the foyer. What? This is basically an apartment. Unbelievable. I feel so old saying this, but this is a washer and dryer. We have a laundry machine. They're on their way up with detergent for us. How freaking huge is this place? I'm echoing, like in our home. Obviously we have a little space to eat. There's a full size kitchen. It's so convenient to be able to be here. I don't think we're probably gonna, we might have breakfast here, but we're probably not gonna eat anything else in. But how awesome is it that you have a full kitchen? This little bar seating that you can just kind of hang out on and just relax and enjoy. Look at this living room. Like, there's a sectional. And it comes with a really nice, warm and self blankie. And it's really beautiful. This whole wall is art. There's a TV, obviously. But it's like a full living room. It's like your own living room at your house. 
Like this is this is ma massive. And we haven't even gone to the bedroom yet. It's so comfy and everything is so soft. We have these amazing floor to ceiling windows and they are not just windows. Check this out. It completely opens up. I think this is called a Juliet balcony. I don't know, don't take my word for it. But like you can do this with both of our windows in this place and it just opens onto the square. We're on the second floor so the odds of us actually doing this a lot are fairly low. And there's a second TV in case you want to watch in bed. And last but not least, the bathroom, which honestly isn't that spectacular. It's really, really nice, but it's not like, like the rest of this place. Great shower, nice lighting, really echoey, tall ceilings. It really does a job. I take that back. There's a rain shower head. They have a sweet pad. I think that's what they call this. Guest information, Andreas Quarter. In-room dining, AQ restaurants and bars, browser, wake-up call, late checkup, your next day, concierge service, reception. You might be thinking, oh, they must have paid an arm and a leg for this place. How on earth did they afford it? Would you believe me if I told you it was actually free? This might have been the best redemption I've ever found. This hotel, the Wellum, is a part of the Unbound collection, which is part of Hyatt. So this is actually a Hyatt hotel that you can get points for, or even better, you can redeem points to stay here. It was literally 12,000 points a night, which, oh, by the way, is exactly the same as we paid for our Hyatt place in Anchorage, Alaska, which was... It was not this, I mean, friends. it was it, not this. It was fine, but 12,000 points in Hyatt point terms is really not that much. It's actually, uh, on a relative basis, a phenomenal redemption. So we didn't pay a single dollar short of parking for our two night stay in this absolutely phenomenal suite. Well, we are very reluctant <laughs> to ever leave this suite. There is a city beyond these walls, believe it or not, that is probably pretty spectacular and we are going to go explore it. So after we settle in, I think we need to find ourselves a cocktail. We have found a bar. Surprise, surprise. It's, it's the, the Fox Brewery, Browery Fushin. Ah, Fushin, which is Fox, I think. Don't take our word for any of <laughs> We're gonna order a couple of beers. This street is super cute. We love it. So this far, brewery we... is popping, so we're definitely in the right place. This but... is the place to be. Uh, yeah. Can we get Zwei uh, Fushin? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good about you. Yeah. It's time for dinner. All right, so the original plan was to go to this Italian place that Adam did all this wonderful research. It's a good bit. It was wonderful research to find this Italian place about 20 minutes away. That required walking, 20 minutes by walking. And then we went to this bar and this adorable street and we were like, man, I don't want to like ruin this vibe. We were like, let's just check menus down the street. And we found this place and it has four vegan and vegetarian options. One, two, three, four, wow. Okay. What an excellent find. Let's eat. We got distracted. The food was great. Was Dusseldorf so is so cool. Hi. Oh, oh. thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> good. And Abby and forgot her sunglasses. <laughs> And then we're gonna go explore Dusseldorf because we didn't make it very far last night because we were just loving the area that we are in right now, which is an area we're going to explore this morning. But first, it's time for coffee and breakfast. Now that breakfast is done and we've been taking our sweet time this morning, we gotta get ready to go and get out and explore this city. It's just so hard to leave.
we're finally out and moving. We're gonna start by exploring the Carl Spots, which is a marketplace of sorts, and then we are going to get ourselves some delicious Asian food for lunch. We're not quite sure what the rules are, but everybody else is wearing masks, it's so important to keep them. And that was Carl Spots Market, and now we are moving on to lunch. This is gonna be so good. First things first, at Naniwa, we have two Japanese beers. Surprise, surprise. It's like almost one. We're good. It's afternoon. Is that right? Is this right? Okay, let me try. Mm. These jokes are like a hundred times. I seriously can make it right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. We just finished up our awesome lunch at Naniwa. It was absolutely so delicious. Next, we are headed towards the river. <coughs> okay, so when we were in Aldi to get a couple more things, and, and this alarm. It is a going. very loud alarm. And then it speaks, see, that's it. And then it speaks German at you, and we don't, we don't, know what it means. But I'm not everybody had to leave that, all But everybody had to leave and the people in Five Guys had to leave? This person is speaking English. They're, they're evacuating the building? Hold on, I'm listening. Yeah. It sounds like from listening in on other people's conversations and the emergency vehicles that went by, <laughs> looks like it's a fire alarm. I don't know if it means there's an actual fire or what. It seems like the, the fire department is around the corner and <laughs> hopefully trying to save Aldi from burning down, although it doesn't, the building doesn't appear to be on fire, but, but apparently there is some. Apparently there is a fire somewhere. Uh, so it looks like we're not gonna be getting back in there anytime soon. So I guess we will continue on our trek. Onwards to the river. To the river! We made it to the River Rhine. We're going down the river. There's a really cool park that we get to walk along and just gonna do some casual mid-afternoon exploring in this just amazingly beautiful weather that we have had really good luck so far with the weather. Knock on, not wood, but either way, it's a gorgeous day. We're gonna enjoy our walk along the Rhine River. but it's this AQ building and we are at the bar getting a drink. Now, these drinks are pricey, like really pricey. However, when you're at a place like this, you kinda gotta enjoy the architecture. It's a give and take. change of plan. We were going to order takeout from across the street, hang out in our robes in our room. However, you hear that? Oh my god. You hear that? That's live piano. They started playing piano in the lobby. And it is bellissima, which is not German. It's Italian. <laughs> but given what we're working with, 
yeah, we ended up ordering from here, and they're gonna bring us food to right here. This evening, well, live piano music we love live music we especially love live piano music that was amazing it was like our own private show and the food was really good like it was really good food we had an excellent day here in Dusseldorf this this city is awesome yep we are moving on to Berlin our German road trip continues really tomorrow exciting. we get six uninterrupted hours of the Autobahn. Ooh, ooh, it's going down. I wish we had a cooler car. <laughs> it feels wrong. I feel like we should be in like a yeah cool sports car zipping down the Autobahn with matching leather jackets. Anyways, us and our VW are going to be zipping down the old Autobahn to Berlin. And it should be really fun. We're staying at a Grand Hyatt, which is our favorite Hyatt brand, but it's going to feel like a step down from this, which is laughable irony in so many ways because it's legitimately our favorite place to stay of all the highest besides this one now and you can see it for yourself so hit the subscribe button and join us on our journey through germany to berlin